What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. Hopefully y'all are having a good week so far. We're, we're at that halfway point already because we had a holiday on Monday. So I'm just ready for the week to be over at this point already. So I have an interesting video for y'all today. I'm not going to lie. And somehow I've gotten caught, caught up in the whole mess that happened today. But I will talk about that after the Daily Lace Up. So just going to go ahead and jump into the daily lace up for y'all just a quick sneaker update of everything that's going on in the sneaker world right now and i'm not gonna lie when we got this information yesterday i was like okay this is gonna be the the main talking point of the video tomorrow before we jump into the overall video but this is gonna get quickly overshadowed by all the other stuff that happened today so starting off we actually got uh news on the second travis scott jordan one low that is set to drop i think i've mentioned this before like several videos ago but I had been waiting on them to announce what the next Jordan 1 low would be for Travis Scott. I knew it was coming. They just hadn't announced yet. Of course, we had the all black colorway that's set to come out this December. Now, this next colorway is basically another almost like reverse mocha colorway, except it's black instead of that brown on there. So this one is actually a women's exclusive. And they will have extended or they should have extended size in them. And they're set to come out either this December or early of 2023 next year. So, of course, we have another Travis Scott Jordan 1 load to look forward to. Look, this gives me two more opportunities to potentially hit on a Travis Scott Jordan 1 load for retail. So, I'm hoping for the best in my sake with getting a pair of these because I have not been able to get a pair of Travis Scott's for retail, let alone I don't have the Jordan 1s either in my collection. So, hopefully, I can cut one of these two that are coming out later this year or into next year. So that is the Travis Scott update that we've been waiting for. Now, continuing on, we actually got an update on, or not even an update, but we got images loaded onto sneakers, and the shoe was actually loaded on sneakers as well. But the Air Jordan 2, J Balvin, was put on sneakers, and it's set to drop September 15th. So what is that, next week, I believe it is. Now, the price on the shoe has been the killer that a lot of people are going to be turned off by, and the retail price on the shoe is actually... $300 which is 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 crazy um the shoe does light up like on the tongue it has like a light up portion yeah $300 is a lot I, I'm still tempted to go for the shoe just to get a review for y'all potentially but I'm not gonna pay resale for it I'm not even gonna lie so if I can hit on sneakers and and I have the funds to do it then I will try to get the pair but overall I'm not I don't need a personal pair of these it's a Jordan 2 after all yeah, and they did have a collection that did drop with these. So um, they had a varsity jacket here, that's five hundred dollars. They had a T-shirt that's fifty dollars, and then they had some fleece pants that are one twenty. And then I believe they had some socks and some other stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. And sneaker fetish, I've mentioned him on on my videos before. He's on YouTube. Or he does YouTube as well. He's on Twitter, but he posted a tweet today that said nine hundred seventy total, and the hat and socks, and you just spent ten twenty four, a thousand twenty four on the outfit so that's what if you bought everything with the J Balvin collection including the shoes you'd be spending over a thousand dollars just to have an outfit all of that so yeah it, it's a lot like that, that's just a lot so we're gonna see I'm not 100% sure but we'll just kind of see how things go when they release on sneakers and then last but not least before we jump into the craziness um, we actually got a look at an upcoming dunk and this is the dunk load tartan or tartan however you pronounce it it's basically a plaid dunk, and honestly, it's it's kind of looks interesting. It's, it reminds me of a Christmas type of dunk, something that would come out during the winter time. So maybe that's when this shoe is set to come out, but it is does have that green and then red plaid on here. Not a bad looking dunk at all. I think it's kind of unique, something I may potentially want, but I'd have to see it in person to kind of get an idea over that shoe. All right, so jumping into the main part of this video, so... Yeah, so a lot happened today. So today is, is September 6th. So we actually got word of some stuff that happened at the Nike warehouse in Memphis. And it's actually started last night on September 5th. Um, basically, so what I saw, I saw people posting up early pairs of stuff. And normally when I start seeing early pairs, I'm like, bet, like, early pairs about to start coming around. I'm about to have a chance to get these holiday releases, yada, 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 so forth and so on. So that was last night. Of course, I started seeing pairs. And then this morning, or just throughout the day today, we get word that the warehouse in Memphis was actually robbed and a bunch of pairs, shoes, clothing got stolen from the warehouse. So I pulled up an article by Nice Kicks and it says Memphis Nike trailers ransacked. And it's got a picture of the trailers and just all of the boxes that are outside. 
And then I found a video that I, I believe a guy posted on Facebook at the warehouse where he was taking like a video of everything that had happened. So I'm going to go to show you all the videos. So as you see, you just see a bunch of different trailer, cargo trailers, and then you see boxes just kind of all sprawled out on the ground. Um, you even see a bunch of boxes in these trucks, like cardboard boxes in the truck. So you can see just a bunch of different stuff that's just kind of all over the place. You see a little running shoe there. Uh, orange Nike boxes as well so it's it was just kind of all over the place of what exactly they got because honestly how could you know what was in the trailers unless you went into all of the trailers so there was a lot of speculation about what exactly got taken from uh, the warehouse this morning or I guess last night when all this stuff dropped so uh, sneaker fetish I put out on Twitter he had said a lot of these boxes were leggings apparel and lower priced running shoes so it was like okay they got the not the super hype stuff that everybody was looking forward to this upcoming holiday season well fast forward throughout the day and we started to find out that a lot of these shoes that were taken were the upcoming Jordans that were set to release this upcoming holiday so um, I, I found a list on Twitter of what exactly was taken it and I don't know if it's 100% accurate but this is actually some of the stuff that I've seen so we have the Purple Canyon 4s, which of course we know released in Europe already. The Jordan 6 Chrome, which is set to release either in October or November. Uh, USC Dunks. We have the Cherry 11s, which of course is the Christmas 11 for the year. And then the Navy 4s, which is set to come out either in October or November as well. So that was the few shoes that I saw that were taken from the warehouse in Memphis. Now, this whole thing was just crazy in itself. Like, that, it was... Seeing all the stuff that's been posted today has just been absolutely crazy. Like, this one picture that I found, this guy had posted basically all of the pairs of the Navy 4s that he had. And if you look, there's just boxes on boxes of these 4s. Like, it looks like he's got a full size run in multiple sizes of these Navy 4s. Now, I don't know whose picture this is, so I, I have no idea who to tag. But that, like, you just saw pictures of that all day today. And it was just people was reaction, just wondering how this could happen and and so forth and so on was just abs it was it was crazy like even there was some memes that we saw today so like this one has the Oprah meme and how Oprah's like oh you get a prize and you get a prize this one's it says nobody and then it has Memphis and it's basically saying like you get a shoe and then you get a shoe and it, it's just like if you were caught up or like watching the reactions on Twitter today in regards to this story you would, would know what I was talking about um it, it was just it's crazy like I don't even know like how something like this would happen because as you saw in the video they just have the trailers just sitting outside but my question would be like how do people know that the trailer the shoe like the Jordans are coming into the states and they're in the trailer so I'm assuming somebody on the inside that told whoever that oh the Jordan the holiday Jordans are here coming like you can come and get them like I have no I don't know that that's what I could assume people had their theories today that they were talking about that there was an inside person nobody really knows because at the end of the day like we just found out about this today so i'm sure there's going to be some look into what happened but like i said we just we don't know right now like it, this is just fresh information and i know secret fetish i put out another tweet today and it said entire palace of midnight navy four stolen selling number four to five hundred dollars early pure profit this is nuts like i agree like i was talking to one of my sneaker groups and i was like the amount of money that people made getting all of these shoes like in that one picture you saw that dude with all of those fours imagine the person that took them and like sold all that like that's just the amount of money that could have been made or that was made off these shoes is just absolutely ridiculous so yeah that that was everything that happened today with the nike warehouse like i said it, it was just it was just a lot to come across and then just to see everything that happened like I said it kind of started for me last night when I started seeing early pairs being posted and I just kind of took it as oh it's that time to start getting early pairs and and I was getting hit up for stuff so I was like oh like you know bet I can start getting early pairs and then to come next morning to find out like everything that happened was I was just like oh my god like how does something like that happen so like I said everybody has their theories on what happened how it happened at the end of the day we really don't know I mean we may end up getting some information at some point about it, but I, I really don't know. But I think sneaker-wise, the majority of these shoes will be good, especially like the Cherry 11s. Y'all know we'll probably get close to a million pairs of those, so I think that'll be fine. Uh, most of these shoes, I think, will still have plenty of stock on them 
Once again, we don't know how many pairs got taken. Maybe Nike will tell us, but yeah, I I'm just going to go on a limit and say that those shoes are probably good for now. Like, we'll still have plenty of stock. You'll still have opportunities to uh, get the shoes as well. Now, the other question I had, where are the Chicago ones? Because that shoe is set to come out, I believe it's November 19th. So, like, the Cherry 11s are already starting to show up, and that shoe drops in December. I think the 4s drop in, like, October, and the Purple Candid, I think, drop in December as well. So, those shoes are here. So, a basic question, are, are the Chicago ones here yet? How How is that going to work? Like, I've been hearing a lot of talk about how that release is going to happen. So, I'd be curious to know if that date could get pushed or if they're storing those shoes somewhere else. It's a more secure site that they're storing the shoes. It's just going to be a wait and see with those. But... That is everything I have for this video. Let me know how y'all feel about just the Nike warehouse in Memphis getting robbed and just people taking all of those pairs. Let me know about the Travis Scott status set to drop the women's exclusive. Are you gunning for those? Or are you interested in those? Also, let me know how you feel about the dunks. And then let me know how you feel about the J Balvin 2s that are set to come out for $300. Like I said earlier, that is ridiculous. But as always, like I said, that's all I have for y'all. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button on the notification bell. So you can stay up today when I post new content. As always, hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll catch you on the next video.